Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Fish Locker out on the bank. Now, we're enjoying a quiet morning at Sanctuary Lakes, which is in Devon. It's the um, first time I've fished this venue, but it's a, it's a cracking spot by all accounts. Um, I'm on a mixed lake here, and I know that there are one or two pike in here. So what I'm doing is I'm feeding up an area with a little bit of bread and a little bit of maggots and I'm going to try and catch a live bait, roach or rud and then I'm going to use that fished on a float with a wire trace and, a, and like a treble hook and try and catch a pike with it. That's the theory anyway. We will... Uh, I'll talk you through the rig right now. It's absolutely nothing complicated. Just a spinning rail with 12 pound mono on and I've come straight down to a barrel and a homemade, what did you say this is 10 to 12 inches, homemade steel trace with a single treble and the float that I'm going to use is just a bung float and all you do there is you just slide it onto the line like that put your stopper in nothing complicated at all and like I say all I'm going to do is catch a little live bait and try and use the live bait to catch a pike well I've managed to get hold of myself a little live bait this is a little rud I'm going to use this rud by hooking it up through through the top lip don't go too far back because you'll kill it and bearing in mind I'm only fishing this two foot deep I'm just going to drop it out into my swim. Now what I'm waiting for you can see the float moving slightly just as the, road, as the road is swimming around now if a pipe comes nearby it will start moving erratically or it will bob straight down and if a pipe picks it up real quick and runs off you're just waiting for the float to do something now it could bob could start moving away but generally I know there's a pike in the area because as I was free feeding earlier I saw a few swirls and a few of the little fish darted out of the way. <laughs> well, while all that was going on, I have got a tench float rigged up. Now, I'm just fishing the lift method with a couple of maggots, and it's found me a stunning tench. Leave him in there for a minute to calm down. What a cracking tench. This is my uh, this is <laughs> my rig for catching my live baits. Just a very simple maggot on a size 14. Now I'm lucky actually that, that my friend Steve was here because uh, the smallest I've got today the hooks are 10s. Just wasn't hooking them. If he hadn't given me this, I wouldn't have. Uh, I wouldn't have had these today. Hooks are just that tiny. You barely see them. <laughs> now look, that's how small they are. They're working. Lovely little rud. Having some great fun with this. This little setup. And there is a beautiful. Golden rud. Wouldn't look out of place in an aquarium, that would it? Lovely looking little fish. I'm going to let this one go, I'm not going to use this as a live bait, it's too pretty. Yeah, that was it. Single maggot on a 14. Oh, there's a stunner in. It's getting back. Live bait floats just gone down again. Now, I just had a bite and I left it for a couple of seconds and struck and it come off. So I'll give this plenty of time now.
fantastic result. Now it is only a jack, but I'll tell you what, I'm still glad to see it. Unclip my trace, get my rod out of the way. Like I say, I just I had my live bait just down in the corner here, and the float had gone under, and I ran to go and get it, and I went down quick and struck, and I knew, I felt like a little fish, and then after a second or two, must have opened its mouth and the hook comes straight out. So this time, I gave it chance, and it's worked. Hook perfectly in the scissors. Calm down. Easy. Oh, a bigger fish has had hold of this at some point. If you can see there, look, hooked just in the corner of the mouth. And there you are, stunning, stunning little Jack Pike. Colours on him, he's a cracker. He's got quite a lot of lice on him. So you can see he's been sitting sitting dormant on the bottom. One of the things you need to be careful about when you're, you're gilling out pike like this is if you slide your hands in in the wrong place, they get scratched to pieces on the guild record. What would you say is four or five pound? A beauty. Get him back. Just like that, he's gone. That pike that I just had there was literally on that bait within seconds. I had a live bait swimming around in an area for about maybe an hour and a half. And then it eventually took it and I missed it first time. So I quickly put a live bait on again. Instead of hooking it through the jaw like I did originally, I hooked it through like the root of the tail around there because when you hook them when you hook them here in the tail if you can imagine it'll be swimming down like that away from the float so it, it's more erratic it, 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 it draws more attention to itself that was it that was simply how, how the rig was just a little float to 12 inches of steel trace a single treble on a live rud. See if we can't find his mum. <laughs> live bait's just shot off again. Oh, this really is a little jack. <laughs> that was a that was a really aggressive take from such a small pike. I don't know if you can see there. Look. See where the hook's in its mouth, right at the corner of the mouth. This guy's on him maybe, I don't know, a couple of pounds. But you can see, look where a bigger pike's had hold of him. That's how simple it is. Calm down, little lad. We've always got loads of attitude with these little jacks. Let's have a look at you. A bonny little fish, isn't he? Get him put back. <laughs> yeah, that little jack screamed away. Float went straight down and drag started pulling off. Didn't even get a chance to get the camera set up properly. Right, this single treble in the tail, what's best to do is just kind of scratch one of the scales off so it allows you to put the hook in and just in like that well that was a, a nice little session on the pike with Jim um, three runs two fish not that they weren't massive but they were pike that's <laughs> that's what I came for target species target species that little jack was um, was uh, was a beaut <laughs> was a beaut the most aggressive bite we had was off the smallest fish. Yeah, I missed the first one. Uh, in my in my mind, I just didn't leave it long enough. It had it obviously bit all the live bait and didn't have a chance to manoeuvre it into its mouth when I struck. But I made sure I got the next two. Um, 
very simple method. I just float fished to try and catch some roach and some mud. Now not only did I catch live bait but it brought little fish into an area. Uh, and then I fished a live bait on a homemade uh, pike trace. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, let me know how you do how you go on when you go pike fishing. Just fishing in the margins, and all I have is a simple bobber to a 10 inch steel wire trace with a single treble, and it's found a cracking little jack. Now, the thing with the little ones is, is there, <laughs> they seem to give you more fight on the bank than they do in the water almost. Apex Predator. Maybe in a couple of years. <laughs> Cracking fish, aren't they? Absolutely streamlined, and if you can see them on top, completely camouflaged when they're in the reeds. Oh, that was it. All I got was I just float fished a single maggot and caught some little tiny rud. And just take the treble hook and just plant it in the root of the tail like that and like I said that was just on a bobber just in the margins simple as you like <laughs>